Hey guys, this is the Hot Wheels City Super Loop Fire Station. This is a pretty cool set because it has several places to hook up track pieces and they're located in good spots too so that you can have a lot of things hooked up to it. And it also has hookups for the black track pieces for the Hot Wheels City sets that they started selling a few years ago. Now, I like this set because the main focus, which is the loop, lifts up off of the base of the toy. So that's pretty cool. Like, there's a handle at the top here and it lifts all the way up to do different things. And we'll talk about that here in a moment. So this is a cool set. It's more advanced than the other fire station set that we have. And there's a video on that that I posted a couple years ago as well. So. Let's dig into this. I got some track pieces to hook up to it in a little bit as well, but I'm gonna show you the different parts of this playset. Okay, so let's check this baby out. So we've got how many track hookups? One, two, three, four. So you can hook up tr um, four of the, bl the blue and orange hookups to those different places, but you'll see the notches where you can hook up the Hot Wheels City black and orange like pieces that look like this. So you can hook up plenty of those. Now there is a pretend fire hydrant here with the hose already hooked up to it. So you can pull that off and act like you're spraying stuff like Oh, I got a fire guys! Oh yeah! clips on there so it stays there that's pretty cool there is a exit only archway sign here because cars come down that slide there there is a pretend fire station here there's two parking spaces here that you can get to when you raise the loop you and we'll show you there in a moment there's a cool fire helmet number 68 I'll have to find out what that 68 means. There's gotta be something behind that. Leave a message in the comments if you know what that is. We've got a gate here, which is a little awkward because if you try to twist it with your finger, it, it doesn't really, okay, that's what you gotta do. You gotta lift it and then twist it, and then you can open it up. Otherwise, if you drive a car through there, it'll just move it for you. But if you try to you know, twist it by the top here, you have to lift up. I just figured that out live on the air. So there's a little ramp here as well. You can drive a car. It just doesn't really look like you're supposed to drive a car up it. It's kind of steep. But you can sit a car here, swivel the ramp, whichever way you want to go. If you lift it up, the car goes in the fire station. It can come out the door or it can park inside. Lift up the gate or the door, it stays open, or you can force it down. Pretty good stuff there. You swivel the ramp and raise it up it'll go towards the loop there's a slingshot launcher here so when the car goes through there boom goes through the loop and down so here's the, the slingshot here cool thing about the slingshot it looks kind of like a fire hose the end of a fire hose I think that's the point of that so I'm gonna put that down Spin it around to the back, and this is cool. The ramp here it looks like water come, that came out of a hose, like a fire hose. You'll see it looks like water. So once it goes around that loop, if the loop's lifted up, then it comes down the water here, comes out. So pretty neat there. And once I have two free hands, I will show you how to raise this baby and access the other parts of the set and make it go down the water chute. So pretty cool there. That's all there is to show you here at the moment. If I missed anything, I will be sure to mention it, such as this door here, the one-way door. It just goes up whenever a car goes through. It kind of looks like it's a ramp, but there's really no way you can drive a car up there. So I don't think that's what that's for. All right, so let's spin this around and we'll show you the rest of the set. Okay guys, 
there's a lot to see here so we're going to start at this angle show you the overall picture here and then we'll figure out a way to get different angles so you can see everything going on so let's introduce the cars we got this cool word find van you can see it's got like a word find on it <laughs> that's pretty neat um let me see if it's got a name 70s van it just says 70s van okay fair enough and then we've got 2020 honda e pretty cool looking electric vehicle i assume i don't know if i've seen these before but they're pretty cool i'd like to have one myself in real life and then we've got a matchbox car the opal speedster that's another cool car i'd like to have oh yeah nice convertible so i got track pieces hooked up two in the front two in the back and there's none on the side because there's no hookups on the side unless i have the black and orange hot wheel city track pieces which i actually do i should have hooked those up too but maybe in another video so let's get started and see what we can do with this so i'm gonna drive a car up from the back the honda e he's gonna get up on the loop We've got the slingshot set up. Let's lift it up. Whoa! Whoa! What happened there? Oh yeah, he came through the back. I don't know what I was expecting to happen, but <laughs> that's what happened. He kind of crashed. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. Put the slingshot back down. Let's try again with the Opal Speedster. There we go. Okay, he made it through and wiped out again. That's interesting. Why does it keep wiping out? It's like that door in the back is hard to get through. Let's try the 70s van. I'll show you a different angle here in a moment. All right, let's go. Let's go word finding, man. Put down the slingshot. There you go. He made it. So you gotta have a vehicle that's got some weight to it. That way it gets through that trap door in the back. Cool. All right. Now you can drive cars up the back, but there's nowhere to really go. So not a huge purpose served back here. Unless you just pretend you're driving up the back, turn right, and then go down this way on your way to another track piece or a Hot Wheels set. You come up the front. The front. Yeah, I want to get through this cool loop again. Let's put the slingshot down. All right. Hey, can you open the gate for me? Oh yeah, let's do that. All right. Get up on the, the ramp here. There it goes. He made it. A little harder that time, but he made it. All right. Now, let's get the Opal Speedster up through here. I just want to park somewhere. Can I do that? Can I park at the fire station? I got to go to work. Okay, sure. Let's lift the gate up. Get on the lift. Now we're gonna swivel the lift to the left. Now this handle here is what you use. You can put your hand on the base here or you can probably put it on the helmet too. Lift up. Let's go to the top first. There it goes. All right. He's gonna park right there. All right, Get down. Honda E. Hey, I'd like to park too. I'm the secretary. I just need a good parking spot. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Open the gate. All right. Lift up here to the first level. All right, the park's cool. Now, let's get 70s van. Here we go. Ooh, excuse me. All right, thanks. Swivel the gate. So the little lift, lift it up to the top parking spot, because that's what's going to get you down the water ramp. All right, let's see if this works. Got to put the slingshot down. Wow, whoa, wipe out. All right, that didn't work out. Let's see. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Lift it back up. Hold on to the top here. Put the slingshot down. Let's have the Opal Speedster go through and see if it makes it this time. Okay, it made it, but it wiped out again. That's not cool. 
Let's get down to the second level. Let's get the Honda back in action. Put the slingshot down. We gotta lift this back up to the top. Here we go. Whoa, that was bad. <laughs> so we're having a problem getting it down the water ramp here. So that's interesting. Let's get a different angle. Let's show you from this angle when the car is trying to come down around the water ramp. So let's get it on the lift here. We're gonna raise it up to the top, put the slingshot down. Here we go. Whew, that was really bad. <laughs> All right, slingshot down. Let's get the 70s van back in action. Lift it up to the second row, third level, whatever it is. Wipe out. Okay. Back down. Let's get the Opal Speedster in there. Slingshot down. Level three. Here we go. Hey, we got a success. Yeah. All right. Now, let's get a different angle here. All right, let's see what happens from this angle. Get a better view here. We're gonna put down the fire hose slingshot. Take the 70s van and put it in there. Lift it up to the third row. Here we go. Whoa, another wipeout. Ow. Okay, let's skip some of the stuff. We'll put the oval speedster here, slingshot down. Okay, he made it, but he wiped out again. Um, yeah, see that? He wiped out. It was worse than it actually looks. It was even worse than that. <laughs> All right. So, let's get the 2020 Honda E back in action. Slingshot down. Oh, I didn't do it hard enough. Wow, that one's not meant for the set. Oof. That was bad. <laughs> All right, let's try uh, one last angle. Okay guys, this is the third and final and perhaps most epic angle that we're gonna show. Hopefully you made it this far and you're still tuned in. So let's see what happens with these cars. Okay, we're gonna start out with the Opal Speedster. We're already up in the third level. Let's put the slingshot down. You almost made it. Almost made it. Slingshot down. We got the Honda E that wipes out every time. Oh, wow. You are done. 70s van. Slingshot down. Ah, there we go. We had a success. All right, cool. Okay, so I hope you like this video. It's a pretty cool set. I can see there's some issues, but I think just like a lot of the Hot Wheels sets, it's a matter of finding the right cars and figuring out how to make it work right. So this has a lot of potential and we'll do some more videos with it. I'd like to do a video where I have the other fire station set hooked up somewhere around the area, maybe a police station next to it, do some kind of emergency services video somehow. So. That's it for the Super Loop Fire Station. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already done so, make sure you click on the subscribe button at the bottom and click on the notification bell to be the first to know when a new video comes out.